Fun spot time. It's one spot time. Oh, David's back. Hi. Dave, see, I wasn't lying. This is season seven, episode 15. Its title is Sisterhood. So uh, that's you can't pen it down. There's so many sisters on the show now. So I don't know who it's about. So, Hopefully lots of Regina. Lots of I Regina mean, and Ivy. Selena. Well, yeah, but then also the, the Ivy and has like two sisters. Right. I want more Ivy and Zelina. They should hang out. Yeah. Maybe uh, we should try it with the family you still have. They should bang. Yes. <laughs> Where, where are your parents? It's it's late. Go home. Playing in the dark forest in the rain. Anastasia? Where are you? Okay, that's cheating. It's called hide and seek. She ain't gonna <laughs> tell you. We'll always find a way back home. Whoa, did that just materialize? Yeah, I guess they're magic. Oh, what? Okay, what? You can just make paths? Perhaps the answer lies within you. Cut her open. Oh wait, not in not with not within her. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh. What she looks better. She looked better before. Yeah. Choice is yours. That kind of sister. Flynn's arcade. Oh, it's right. It's the Tron it's barcade. episode. Barcade. Oh, it does say barcade. Well, it's you know, getting better. 2018. <laughs> but you don't know where she is any more than I do, and your plans to reunite. But how did she go missing? The sister? I don't. Yeah, like she because was the last time we saw her was last time we saw her was when they were doing the big thing that killed Victoria, and she said to run along, so she should know where she's at. So maybe she's playing Ivy. Hopefully. She did change, but with covering her legs. Right, she never yeah. did that before. I miss the old days. <laughs> oh, as for Lucy and her sitter, I got plans for something tonight. You finally got her a babysitter? After all the other times she like broke into a weird guy's apartment and did other <laughs> stuff like that. Several times she's broken into a guy's apartment. You had that already made for her. <laughs> for someone else, but you should have. <laughs> Before the curse, he had some pretty great friends. And he can still hook up with Ivy. <laughs> you mean my dad and my cursed dad were friends? <laughs> yeah. Awkward. <laughs> operation Bromance. Stop it. Stop the operations. He's fixing the chipped cup. Yay. The cup's been through a lot. Hey, do you want to order some food and maybe work with Candy Killer guys? I'm not really common to die. <laughs> Sounds like a killer of candy. <laughs> Oh, you were in a dark parking garage? That's where you die. Yes. Get get out of there. Or get in a well-lit parking garage. Nothing bad happens in those. <laughs> Why don't you come out? I've got a fresh can of pepper spray we can try together. Don't explain it. That's for the element of surprise. <laughs> oh, see? See what I mean? See what I mean? The darker the parking garage, the more likely you are going to die in it. Oh, good God! Oh my, it's the purge. <laughs> what? What is happening? I think Ivy's the kind of chick that would have had a gun in her purse. Yeah, and she wouldn't have hesitated to kick that guy in the crotch. Yeah. Galaga, the there best game is. ever. I own like three t-shirts for Galaga. <laughs> this is exactly where I need to be. Excuse me? Don't take his high score. Yeah. I guess, I guess you can just totally take the machine I was using. You got one hand, you're yeah, not gonna get a high score. <laughs> if not for the heel on my stiletto, I would be dead right now. Those shoes are super handy on this show. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't save me either. Now you have to. Yeah. You did the right thing. Heroes are bound by being stupid. <laughs> Trust me. If anyone's gonna have the pleasure of killing you. It's gonna be me. <laughs> Thanks, bro. It's not that simple. You're not the only witch with interest. Oh, exclusive. Cool. I hope they break a pool cue and the two have to fight for it. Yes. We can begin. Whoever returns with these mystical plants will show themselves worthy. It's the Batman Begins trial. Okay. I'm <laughs> cutthroat. Well, so much for sisterhood. <laughs> you mean you wouldn't cut your sister's throat? <laughs> 
going to start snap cutting all of their throats and then you're going to win. <laughs> Why are they not fighting? But together, we can find these things. We can both win this. You're going to forge a friendship and kill her at the end, aren't you? I'm glad I didn't run you through with that stick. <laughs> I love how she's had bleached hair that's grown out in the Enchanted Forest. Yeah, but that was the first spell, to bleach her hair. And then let the roots grow off. Hey there, pretty man. Who exactly are you? <laughs> Dr. Facilier. At oh. your service. Well, I can service myself, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say no one's going to help you. Except me. Only by Oh, look, it's another one of those. You know how beans are supposed to be extinct. You'll pay for your life with the price of another. He's got very specific tarot cards. Right? Yeah, it looks just like Anastasia. <laughs> he has a printer. He had to have just made these. You don't need to find her when you can make her find you. Is it lanterns? It's probably lanterns. What? I don't trust these magically shuffled tarot readings. <laughs> right? I'm like, let me shuffle those cards. <laughs> yeah. If he gets his hands on Anastasia. I know what terrible things he can do with that magic. It's why I've come to you. After sitting with him a few times. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, yeah. Eh, eh, I want a writing credit on this show. <laughs> and at last I see the light. We set one of those off once and it got stuck in our neighbor's tree. And then the next time we did it, it got stuck in my sister's tree and then fell on the roof on fire. Oh, <laughs> it was cool. fun. Fourth of July. And where did you end up? She put darker lipstick on. You already did Hansel and Gretel season one. Losing Reboot and everything. What was his name? Hansel. I'm Gretel. <laughs> For the slow audience members, <laughs> let's say the name. But what's the new name? Yeah. Oh, good night. So the witches set traps? She just wants to kill some folks. Whoa! You have candy Skittles. powers! It's like a Skittles commercial! I want that power! Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Oh, gosh. Well, I guess you did learn something in that gingerbread house after all. How to be awesome? Oh, dude, that would be my new best friend, for sure. Right? Free candy anytime. Yeah. You're gonna walk up and ask out the next woman who comes in the bar. Uh, wingman. I hope it's Ivy. <laughs> I know, I hope it's Ivy. It better be Ivy. Walks through that door. He's getting asked out by Henry Mills. Or it's Gothel. Or it's your mom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, don't let it be your mom. <laughs> no girls come to arcades. <laughs> that place is full of girls. I don't think I've seen any other men but those three. Yeah. Oh, look at oh, that. Oh, of course. Why are you there? Did they text her? I don't know. Because <laughs> they seem to be laughing. Well, yeah, I'd be laughing either way. For a team, right? Sure. It doesn't mean split up. If I was going to screw you over, I would have let the trap do my dirty work for me. But I would have hit you too, so don't lie. We meet back here with flowers in hand, and we win this thing together. <laughs> Besties. <laughs> Ninja Turtle her. <laughs> you Gretel. Look at this. I would also like another writing credit because I said unlikely friendship followed by betrayal. It's just a gang initiation. Yeah, it's in blood in, blood out. Gisella? Is it really her? Or is this like a space balls moment? A magic bean, it opens a door to our realm. It just needs your magic to enchant it. Since when? Yeah, what? So it's not a magic bean. It's just a bean. Yeah. Where's the magic bean? Right here. And it's not there. What is that? What? 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 And if it comes down to you or me, choose me. Sister! Sisterhood! <laughs> Thing? I understand if you can't talk about it. No, it's not that. Is the candy killer Gretel? It makes sense. Oh, it would make sense. And, or Hansel. Yeah. He should be a witch hunter. Yeah! Me walking through those doors could be a coincidence, but you sinking in this token is true. 
truly a million to one. That just depends on how much he's had to drink. Good luck, my friends. And then right as he goes to do it, the bartender just takes the empty mug that shouldn't be sitting there. I hope so. Flins. Oh, I have one of those Flins Arcade ones. Oh. Yeah, yeah I know. Oh, I need a writing credit right now. Will she suffer? Oh, yeah. Black magic, yeah. I would say so, yeah. Seems like you're getting played. Something's happening for sure. I hope the Guardian is about to wake up. Everyone just forget she's in town. Don't be worried about what she's going to do to you, I, because you've been a very bad sister. <laughs> Her pouty face. Like, mm. <laughs> no, I was just thinking about what. How come it takes you so long to get through one sucker? And I know how we're gonna get what we want. Don't let her. <laughs> Come see for yourself. You're about to get stabbed. Right? Did Gothel give everyone that? Yeah. Oh. She came to you too. <laughs> <laughs> Sister fight. Sister knife fight. That's what I thought. Why didn't you turn it into candy? Why is even knife fighting when you both have magical powers? Oh, she Jedi'd it! That's how you do it. Yeah. Kind of weird that she instantly died. She, best would be paralyzed. Now let's talk about your vengeance, sister. In way over your head. <laughs> as this scene shows. Yeah. That's some Firestarter carry level stuff. That's every good movie. Dang. You're just gonna run out of there? Why not? That was a good table! You don't care about me. You never have! That's not true! I loved you more than anyone! But like earlier today I wanted to kill you, yeah. I've done some horrible things because she pushed me to do them. All to force us to this very moment. A lot of blame being passed around, no one claiming any. Well, they patched that up pretty quick. Sisterhood! <laughs> I guess you underestimated the power of sisterhood. We're gonna let her leave the room and forget she's in town for two episodes now. <laughs> right. I'll just go send some more candy assassins. <laughs> it sounds like you're saying goodbye. I know, I'm leaving behind a big mess and I cast the curse. Don't leave the show or I'll get real mad. What? Are you actually leaving? Don't actually leave, though. Didn't the beans usually glow a bluish color? Why are portals this way now when they used to be holes in the ground? Doctor Strange. <laughs> That's Changed it all. So now those two are just leaving? They're just leaving? Like... You had one of the best things going this season, and just walk out. That's the Guardian Rumpel! Yeah! Rumpel went and sat with her. I wonder if he did something or said something to her. Um, now I've got to believe that one day another Guardian will appear. I don't buy this. Can I really trust this doesn't come at the price? The only price to pay is seeing that smile. <sighs> now smile or he won't give it to you. <laughs> there it is. All right. Oh, shoot. Sure is hard being the killer. Oh shoot! Being the killer indeed. Creepy baby mask. And that weird ball thing. Jack's a bad one. I knew that. The shape of his eyebrows, the style it, it, of his hair. The cut of his his jib yes. tells me villain. He should have if he had a stronger jaw, he would have been a good guy. Yeah. Le defined but little weaker villain. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, the episode shows in the beginning um, when Gisela and Anastasia are kids. They're, I don't know why, playing a rousing game of midnight hide-and-seek in a frozen raining forest. Like you do. Yeah, and they lose each other, but then they're like, they're like, oh, we're together, we can always find our way home or something. 
And then, like, lanterns just materialize and, like, guide their way home. And then also in flashback, uh, Gothel kind of just, like, tricks to challenge uh, Gisela to be like, do you, do you want to be in this coven? I just want to test your commitment. We're holding witch tryouts. You should totally come to those. <laughs> in the Seattle world, uh, Gothel, again, no one's watching her. She's just free to come and go as much as she wants. She goes to talk to Ivy. I don't even know what they're about. Like, Ivy wants to find her sister. But Gothel saying she doesn't know where she's at, which doesn't make sense. Well, it's clearly paralleling the other setup fight between sisters. So this is just the slow burn. Like, we got to set you up to try to fight your sister, even though you're not going to. And Oh, and then she's like, oh, yeah. And this is in the lobby and gives her and says chocolates. More fear tactics. More fear than the, the murder chocolates. Mm -hmm. Lucy is still upset about Henry because uh, Henry doesn't have anyone. So she's like... He needs buddies, and, and Regina's like, you know what, I'll fix this. Get his, get his gang together. Get the old pals together. And the gang is Hook, some random cop in the town he just moved to, and the guy that's now dating the girl you wanted to be with. Yeah, so even, though, <laughs> even though they know that it's his friend Jack and Hook, he's just like, I guess I'm supposed to hang out with these people. <laughs> and he was oddly okay with it later, too, at the bar yeah. when they were... Yeah, that was just totally normal. And then later, Hook is in the... the, the police station and Rumpel is trying to put together the teacup and uh, Rumpel just tells him to like, what did he, he even tells him to like, just go do something else. You got to go down different paths to find where he's supposed to be. Basically exactly. like, get off, quit, quit obsessing, look, you're obsessing. Also there was a, there was a uh, security footage of Anna running around somewhere. Ivy's going down to a parking structure, which was dark, and then got darker, more, <laughs> more murdery. And then a creepy purge level baby mask person tries to cut her eye. Which I'm sorry, if it was a grown dude, you're just gonna get cut eye. Yeah, she's a little bird boned woman, and she, but she held her own in that fight. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with modern entertainment. We tell women that they can win fights like that. <laughs> you're not the Slayer, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Henry is at uh, Flynn's Barcade, which I love that, and he's playing Galaga, the bestest game. Hook and J what's it's not Jack? What's the name again in this in this world? Oh, I've already I already forgot. He uh, said it at the very end. Yeah, of the <laughs> Lucy's fake dad show up, and they both they all realize oh Lucy has has made a bunch of phone calls and, and made them all meet up. And instead of following up on why a weird little girl wants them to hang out at a barcade, they're like, let's just enjoy the evening. Ivy goes to Regina for help. Yeah, she's like, by the way, I really screwed up, and I made this person too good, so I'm really screwed. Will you help me? And being an honor-bound idiot like heroes are, now that Regina's not evil, she's lost some cool points, She's like, I'll help you. I'd be like, sorry. Good luck dying in a parking garage. <laughs> and then in flashback at the witchy trials Gothel is holding, there is a bunch of women there, and they all have to go off into the woods in some weird scavenger hunt. For and the find, golden flower. For, for the flower. And she tells them that there's two spots available, and so, but that they'll still have to be cutthroat and, like, fight each other to earn their sisterhood. So they're all going to go off and try and find this flower. <laughs> And, and Gretel wants to hang out with Ivy, and they want to, like, team up. And I'm like, I called it! Unlikely friendship followed by betrayal. <laughs> Although it was just, I, I keep forgetting, I underestimate, I always think Ivy's going to be the evil one. But they keep trying to reestablish that she's being forced into all these things. Which is just, it kind of sounds like they're recreating the character again like they do, because she was totally evil in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no one was forcing her to be evil. She made all those choices herself. <laughs> and then when Ivy's in the bar, Facilier shows up. And he's like, here's the deal, um, I'm going to help you out, you're going to get killed, the killer's going to keep coming for you, your sister is going to die from Gothel, or I'll give you this magic bean, you can escape to another realm. And I think he was like, I'll kill your sister. I don't get it. It's just vague enough, but I, <laughs> yeah. Well, because yeah, so he says like, either your sister's going to die from Gothel and it'll like empower Gothel. Or you'll buy this bean with your sister's life. So I think he's just like, I'll, I'll kill your sister. And you get a bean out of it. Score. Basically, she's being manipulated to help locate the sister because of the lantern tradition. Yeah, he said that she can make the sister come to her. And then he'll kill her, her uh... sister. I, I don't know. Uh, in flashback, Ivy's running around with Gretel. And Gretel's like, 
recapping about how their life was spread apart by a witch and her brother's crazy now. Which now I'm wondering, is Jack her is Jack really uh, Hansel? Yeah, that because the cool. brother went crazy or whatever. So they both want to join this coven. They're like, we'll work together. And then these weird trap things, logs come, and Ivy blows one up, and Gretel blows one up, and it turns into gumdrops, <laughs> which was the best thing ever. Candy <laughs> magic is cool. <laughs> Cutthroat besties. Plus, there's just a bunch of traps, too. So even if you're, yeah. Even if you're working together, you still might be killed by a trap. <laughs> Back at Flynn's Barcade, uh... The, the, the bros are trying to just cheer up Henry and like, get, get back in the saddle. The next girl that walks through the door, you should ask on a date. And he's like, all right, that'll help me get my mind off Jacinda. And then Jacinda walks in. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because she mentions that her and Sabine went to eat nearby. It's like, then still, why did you go walking into an arcade? I didn't catch that until the end when she says, oh, Sabine just called, our table's ready. So I guess they went to the most popular restaurant in town and then had to wait. Had to wait, and so only Jacinda's like, I'm gonna go play some Gallica before our <laughs> right? table. <laughs> and then, oh, in flashback, Ivy and, uh, what's her name? Gretel. Gretel decide to go split up, because they're like, they think they're near where these flowers might be. They split up, and they're gonna, like, help each other. And they're like, we'll be on each other's team. Like, if one of us finds it, we'll help the other one. There's there's two spots for us. And then when Gretel leaves... Uh, Gothel shows up and it's like, by the way, there ain't two spots. Uh, this was part of a test. There aren't even flowers. Yeah. <laughs> just, basically everything I said was a lie. You're supposed to kill each other. Yeah. So so she gives her, what are those, a side? side it looked side? like a side, but it wasn't quite long enough. I don't know. I just refer to them as the Ninja Turtle weapon. Yeah, it's the one Michelangelo had. No, Michelangelo. No, Raphael. Ninja. I'm sorry. I know. My brain fart. I know things. Leonardo had the swords. Donatello has That's the bow step. step. Michelangelo has nunchucks, and Raphael has two sides. Anyway, she gives him that, gives her that, <laughs> and uh, she's like, okay, so that's what you have to do. That's that's how you get into this coven, is you gotta just go full on Hunger Games, Battle Royale. Gang all these things. Yeah, blood in, blood out, man. <laughs> but, and Ivy's like, you know, she's all like, I'm, I'm, I'm good-ish. I've been pushed into all my bad decisions now, apparently. It is a weird contrast when Ivy does finally fight Gretel, she unwillingly kills her. Meanwhile, in the story where we're supposed to care about her more because it's the present, she purposely is tries to kill going her. out of her way to kill her own sister. Yeah, it's like the flashbacks usually to show the difference from the current growth. <laughs> and she was better in flashback, and in this present time, she's actively trying to kill her sister so she can right. get a, a ride home. <laughs> so in current times, uh, Anna follows all of the lanterns. And gets there, but she's still really mad, like, what do you want from me kind of thing. I also wanted to, where did Anna go? The last time we saw her, she was putting magic into the little thing that ended up killing her mom. Oh, and yeah. Gothel just says, like, forget this and go on ahead now. So I don't know where she's supposed to have gone. Like, where she's been, this whole, wandering the streets? I don't know. She, she's there, and then Ivy tells her that, like, she's got a bean and they can go home. And so all she has to do is, like, put her magic in it and they can take off. And so Ivy reaches in her pocket and goes like this, but it's like magic <sighs> roofy dust and knocks her out. Which is a risky move because even before that happens, the, all the lights are shimmering because, you know, Anna's guardian magic is all haywire and she still thinks, oh, I'm still going to screw you over. It'll Anna can just knock you out with a little bit of powder. Right. She's super powerful. You don't know if that's going to work. Mm -hmm. Also, where did this guardian thing just come out of nowhere? What makes her the Guardian, and how does Ruffle know that? Because Victoria didn't even think she was a Guardian. Yeah. And I'm still going back to the first thing I thought of, because when we rewatched that um, beauty episode, uh, Rumpel says, I'm going to go through this portal to the exact time that the Guardian is waiting for me. When he goes to the portal, he physically bumps into Alice, mm. and immediately Henry goes by. So the only two people that were physically there at that time was Alice and Henry. And back in, like, season three... Henry was promised to be Rumpel's undoing, and Alice and him have a weird connection. So I still think it's going to be like a totally misdirect, and it's one of them. So this curse that we're dealing with in season seven was caused by <gasps> Rapunzel. Rapunzel, who was the mom of Anastasia and Ivy. But it wasn't really caused by her. We were led to believe it was right. Her. But those were the three like main people because yeah. Ivy was the one that then wanted it. Yeah. So, but now all three of them are gone. Yeah, and they just actually took off. What? What is happening? They better come back. I mean, <laughs> but what you just said made me realize, oh no, they don't have to come back. If Ivy's actually gone, gone? No. And I think Rumpel did something, because he went and sat next to Anna, 
And and then they get up and go. And I think he might have done something. Because it seems really dumb that Rumpel would just let the Guardian go after all the trouble. Yeah, and, might go. <laughs> and then at the bar, Jacinda's there and Henry's there. And they want to, like, prove true love's a thing. And so they think for some reason in their probably slightly intoxicated minds, throwing a coin at a cup will prove if things are real or not. All the way down the bar. Yeah. And I got, how do I call that, too? I'm like. Most bartenders don't just let an empty glass sit at the bar for very long. Yeah, because you live in. in the real world, so it was a good call. <laughs> and he throws it, and it almost goes in, but the bartender pulls it, and they're like, well, nothing is real. Never mind, this proves it. <laughs> Ivy is with Basilier, and Anna's asleep, and he's getting ready to, like, full on just kill her. I don't, or he's going to take her power off, power the bean. I'm not sure what he's doing at the moment. But she starts waking up, and it's Gothel that's waking her up, and Gothel wants to, like, have this big grand showdown, like, go kill your sister. And Ivy's like, no, don't kill me. But then eventually she's like, all right, I do deserve a lot of stuff, so I guess you can kill me a little bit. And then in flashback, Gretel shows up, and and, and uh, Ivy's like, here's the deal. We should totally just 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 not be in the coven and be sisters together. Really needy for someone you just met 30 minutes earlier to be like, let's run away from it all and be sisters. <laughs> but then Gretel's like, yeah, totally. I got and I, and I got the flower. Come here. And then Ivy's <laughs> like, wait a minute, you're about to stab me with that ninja turtle weapon. And then they both have it, and they both realize Gopal said the same thing to both of them. They fight. Ivy actually gets the upper hand, and like Jedi mind had powers the side back, and stabs Gretel, and then she's in the coven, but it's like, I didn't want to be, I didn't want to make this choice. I'm like, if I was Gothel, I'd be like, oh, you didn't actually want to do this, and it was just a fluke. I don't want you in my coven. Well, I mean, you just killed the person you wanted to ally with, so it makes sense. Yeah, but it's self-defense. This show has a lot of, like, trying to take hard lines on things that are actually legitimately moral gray areas. Like, if you're killing yourself, like, someone in self-defense, it's not cold-blooded murder. It was a whole, that was the whole thing with, like, Emma and, and Cruella. People were like, Emma committed an actual murder because Cruella couldn't hurt anyone anyway. And I'm like, Emma didn't know that. All Emma knew is that the chick is pointing a gun at her son on a cliff, and she pushes the chick off a cliff. It's not the same as, like, murder. It's like, <laughs> don't kill my son. And back with, with Ivy and Anastasia and Gothel, um, Anastasia just doesn't kill anyone, and Gothel, like, pouts and runs away. And no one follows up but on that. But before Gothel runs away, Vasilier just, oh, like, Vasilier. looks it. As soon as stuff gets hot, he's like, I'm gone. Oh, yeah, but you can't blame him. Like, you, the most serious amount of stuff was about to go down. Get out of there, too. <laughs> Ivy knows the most about the curse, right? Yeah, why would Regina let her go when they still have no idea how to help Henry? And, and then, and then Rumpel's like, I'm also going to let the Guardian go. Because I'll, I'll find another Guardian. <laughs> what? So they, they, just, they decide to let... Ivy and Anastasia, 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 I don't know how to say it. <laughs> everyone, everyone said it different. Victoria's like, Anastasia, and everyone's like, Anastasia. Let, let them go. Just like, let them, like, leave in a portal, and they're like, don't worry, we'll figure it out. We always do. I'd be like, no, 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 ho, you poisoned my son, you're not leaving until this gets sorted out, okay? <laughs> Ronnie, Regina, I keep saying Ronnie, it's Regina now, uh, gets back to her bar, and is there, and so they're like mad. She's mad at him at first. Like, what, what the F are you doing? And he's like, no, I, the little girl was never going to die. I just needed them to think that so I could like siphon some magic out from her. She's like, why do you want to do that? And he's like, to give to you so you can help cure your son. But he also still says he wants to get the Dark One's dagger, which uh, well, I don't know what he wants to do with that. He's like, he never actually explicitly said, I want to become the Dark One. He just wants the dagger, but it hasn't explained why. It's funny, because if he does want to become the Dark One, couldn't he just kill Rumpel, and now he's off in the afterlife, and now... Yeah, you, yeah who, who's to say if Rumpel gets killed by the dagger and Facilia becomes a Dark One, Rumpel wouldn't just get to die and go to the afterlife. But Ori might just want to control him, so... Yeah. Right, yeah, so you definitely... Well, yeah. He's obviously not trustworthy. Well, yeah, no, he's a, he's a witch doctor. <laughs> <laughs> the guys are leaving the barcade, and Jack, dude, whatever his name in this world, is like, oh, you, you need to listen to those signs, Henry, and then... And good luck, Rogers. And his tire is flat. Like someone popped it or something. But they were offering to help. He's like, no, I got it. No and then uh, Jacinda's home alone, and she flicks a Flynn's Arcade thing across the room, and it lands in a glass. And she's like, oh, I believe in stuff now. And then uh, Facilia's going to his car, and Rumpel goes and gives a bunch of threats to, like, stay away from my, my dagger. And Facilia's, like, talks about Bill, and he knows what's going on. And they're both like, we're going to keep fighting each other. And then they go their separate ways. And then you see Jack dude is waiting by his car. He's just changed the tire. And when he throws the tire iron in the trunk, there's a bunch of this chocolates in the creepy baby mask. And then credits. He's evil. 
<laughs> he is evil. I could have told you that. I had a feeling. That's what I was also very quickly realized was going to be the trend of the season, is that everyone that we got introduced to as good was going to be evil and vice versa. Mm. Because Victoria Bell was supposed to be the ultimate evil. Then we found out she didn't even cast the curse. Then we find out at the end she was ultimately good. Ivy was supposed to be as good, then became evil, and then in her evilness now they're like, but she was only evil because, like, she had to be. <laughs> and so then they start, like, saying, oh, she's not super evil, but now she's good. And Facilia, you never know what to do with him, but he seemed, like, evil in the beginning, but now he's just vague and you're not really sure what he's doing, but he's helping Regina in a lot of ways. And then Jack dude shows up being just, like, no questions asked good, and I'm like, he's evil. <laughs> I have a feeling. <laughs> Is that it? I think that's it. I think that's it. Anyway, if we forgot anything or left anything out, drop a comment. Don't forget to do things. Right. Comment. Subscribe. Catch you guys later. Until next time, click this statement. That works too. How many times? <laughs>